Hi, I'm Will from Tustin. I'm Norm from Tustin. Norm, today we are looking at coffee grinders. Mm. We have one of these in the office. Yeah, but the intern uses it. It's not very good. Okay. This is a really good coffee grinder. This is the Barazza Vario. Vario, yes. got it. So this is a high-end coffee grinder designed for both espresso and normal coffee. When Most you say high-end, what do you really mean? Price-wise or performance-wise? Both. Uh, so it's it's a high performance because you can do a very fine distribution of particle sizes across a wide range of grind sizes. So when you're making an espresso, very fine coffee, mm -hmm. uh, but you don't want a lot of variation in the size of the actual grounds. Consistency, you want consistent size grounds. This will actually do two different size grounds, kind of bimodal, I believe is what they call that. Uh, and it uses a 54 millimeter splat ceramic burr designed in Germany. How many different settings? Are in this machine. Well, so this, this is one of the interesting things. Normally, you, you twist the hopper on a coffee yep. grinder, there's a knob on the side or something like that. This actually has two different adjustment levers. They're semi notched along the way. And the interesting thing about them is this one on the side is, is does a series of coarse adjustments from espresso range to like drip filter, French press kind of yeah, very coarse coffee. 10 different settings time. here. On the other side, you have 23 more adjustments in between. And they're all, they're notched. But it's a it's a variable slide along the way, so you can stop more or less at any point, mm -hmm. uh, and that gives you a very wide range from like 1.2 millimeters all the way down into the micrometer range. So combined, micrometers or something like that, up to 230. In theory, yeah, I'm sure there's some overlap on the on the edges where they meet in the middle of the of the big detente, but that's the upshot. Uh, the grind is based, there's a couple ways to grind. It's a digital grinder, so that means there's no button or anything like that you press that's a physical button. It's actually all based on a timer. So you set the time. I'm gonna set this for 30 seconds. That's way longer than I wanna grind, but I'll just hit the button. And it just runs for 30 seconds. There's three different programmable settings for three different types of coffee. There's an espresso setting, a drip setting, and a press setting. Uh, you're probably only gonna use, you don't have to actually use them for that. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the grind width. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, what, that's why this is a digital grinder. That's a high performance machine. High performance grinder. The hopper holds eight ounces of coffee ground, more or less, about a half a pound. And the other thing that's neat for people who like espresso is that it has what they call a portafilter holder. This is the portafilter and the, the thing that you put make espresso with. You, know, you yeah, put you the coffee in here, take it to the coffee down. shop, and then they take it out and slam it against the garbage can and throw out all the grinds. Exactly. There's usually a rubber thing in there that yeah. actually slam it against. But the neat thing about this is it just holds in place, so you can grind directly into the portafilter, which should theoretically give you much better coffee distribution in the espresso puck, which means that there's less channeling and other bad things that happen when you are making espresso. Okay, so one of the things that's important to note is you only want to adjust the course setting when the grinder is actually spinning. So adjust now, adjust not. I'm gonna grind some coffee at the coarsest setting right now. My dog is barking in the background. I'm hitting the button. Hear that? It smells like morning. See what this looks like? So, hand pretty coffee. Coarse. This is very coarse, right? It's, you know, giant pieces. Not a whole lot of powder, you'll notice. Just a little tiny bit in there. Uh, where the coffee crumbled as it was being ground. So I've also adjusted it to the super fine setting. Do you want to press the button, Norm? Yeah. Press start. It's spinning faster. Yeah, the, the grind rate actually uh, changes based on how fine you're grinding the coffee. The more fine you grind, the uh, less, uh, the longer it takes to grind an equivalent amount of coffee, but it's still relatively fast, like wow. 10 grams. It's powdery. Yeah, so this is, you'll note, usually you tell espresso, uh, if it dips into the fingerprints on your finger, then, then you know you probably ground it about right. So uh, as always, you know, once you actually tune it to your machine and the coffee you're using, you're gonna need to adjust settings. Mm -hmm. This is where the different detents along the way go. It's really easy to transfer this machine from milk making for a drip or AeroPress or filter or something like that yep. uh, to espresso and back because you just know, oh, okay, second setting from the top, fifth on the down on the left, boom, hit the button, and you're ready and making coffee yeah. right away. Yeah, it's really, really easy. It's easy to use. It's an expensive grinder. How expensive, Will? $430 retail. What? You can get a refurb for around $350 if you're wow. looking for that. They still have the full warranty in that. Uh, this is definitely an enthusiast coffee grinder. We have some more coffee grinders coming from Barazza soon that are a little bit more reasonable price range. And of course, there's always the Virtuoso. I use it at home. I really like it a lot. It's a great grinder for about $200 if you're looking for something a little more reasonable. So this is the Barazza Vario. It's about 430 bucks. There's also a weight grinding variant of this as well. Not time-based. Not time-based. So what that is, is a little scale down in this part down here, and it actually measures the coffee coming into the hopper and stops it when there's just enough coming through. Great thing about this grinder, it doesn't actually hold a lot of coffee in the burrs. Less than two tenths of a gram in my test, depending on which grind setting you're using. It's a fantastic, fantastic home grinder, or even good for like small restaurants or something. So for Tested, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye.